What is up guys, Jake the Programmer. We're here at University of Texas Dallas giving away up to $100 to people who answer coding questions. Let's go find some students. What's your name, man? Rhett. Rhett, would you like the chance to earn $100? It would take literally less than five minutes. What if I'm already late somewhere? Uh, then that's perfectly fine, man. Thank good luck. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. All the things that he could be spending a hundred dollars on. It could be a down payment for DevSlips Academy. He could buy a new mustache. He could buy a new floral tee. Those vintage pants alone, he could buy half of a pant leg. Let's go on down another student. What's going on, guys? Jake the Programmer. I'm here with... Manahel. What do you do here at the University of Texas Dallas? IT management. IT management. You're a great fit for this challenge. Do you know anything about coding? Yes. All right, I'm gonna ask you the first question for $20, $20 right here. Name a programming language. Oh, Java. Java, that's good. <laughs> Boom, $20. We're gonna double this money. I have another question for you. If you get this question right, it's $40. Are you ready? I'm ready. What is the Swift language used for? Is it iOS development or Android development? Swift language? iOS development. That is correct. That is another $20. <laughs> okay, this is the lightning round, challenge round. This is how you're going to get $100. How do you exit Vim? How do you exit Vim? Guys, how do you exit Vim? It's a command line. Exit? That is unfortunately incorrect, but that is okay. Just like in coding, when you're learning how to code, you have a chance to get help. So what we're going to do, we have all these awesome people out here right now. Somebody has 30 seconds to try and find the answer. Let's give it a shot. How do you exit Vim? Let's go. Two, three, four, five, 14, 16, 17. Colon Q exclamation mark. Are you good with that answer? Yes. That is the answer. You just won $100 from DevSlopes Academy. What are you going to use $100 for? Charity work. Charity work. That is awesome. Guys, the trick to coding is that you can learn in any way possible. Sometimes you're stuck on a problem. You have to Google a solution. Sometimes you have to ask a friend for help. That's the trick. You always have a chance to find the solution. And that's what we're doing again with this challenge. Let's go find someone else. What do you do here at University of Texas Dallas? Uh, I study economics. Do you know anything about coding? Uh, yeah, I interned as a data engineer. So I've done a little bit of pro programming. Did you say programming or programming? <laughs> Take the programmer, by the way. Nice to, meet you. nice to meet you, man. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you this first simple question, okay? What is the difference between front-end development and back-end development? Front-end development is everything that a front-facing like consumer or business-facing is going to see, whereas back-end is going to be all the things like database management, handling large volumes of data and organizing data and making sure like security is checked. I think this guy is the Webster's Dictionary definition of coding. This is a pleasant surprise. What is a string? So a string is going to be a data type that has your letters and numbers and words that are going to be held. Uh, they're not numerical operations. You can't, do, uh, you can't do any type of math with them, but you can use it to write out sentences and phrases and information that you don't really want to change. That is 100% correct. We just doubled it to $40. How are you feeling so far? I feel great. I just told a girl I loved her yesterday, and she did not take it very well. So this feels amazing. Dude, this is exactly what you needed. Moral of the story, guys. Don't love people just learn how to code what's going on my name's Jake the programmer and I'm here with Landry Landry do you know anything about coding No. she knows nothing about coding that's okay these questions aren't super hard and this is your chance to get up to a hundred dollars cash <laughs> okay <laughs> all right so this first question super simple question what are the two numbers in binary zero and one zero and one that is absolutely correct you have a great rest of your day. Do you know anything about programming? No. <laughs> All right, so this first question, this question's pretty easy. What does a web developer do? It develops web websites. That is correct. That is an easy $20. <laughs> Who was the first programmer? Oh, f oh, I'm sorry, v vulgar language. No, it's okay. Um, I don't know. 
Not Mark Zuckerberg. I'm kidding. I don't know. Is that your final guess? Yes. Mark Zuckerberg? That is incorrect! The first programmer was actually a woman. Her name was Ada Loveless, and she developed the first programming language that worked with a machine. So, she was the first ever machine engineer. I appreciate you so much. Yep, this was awesome. Thanks so much. How are you feeling right now? I feel great. Thank that you. is awesome. Let's give a round of applause, guys. All right, guys, we're coming up on our final round. We're going to try and find one more person. We got three tough questions. Let's see if they can get them. I am here with... My name is Moise. Okay, Moise, do you know anything about coding? Not enough. What do you do here at the University of Texas Dallas? I'm a bio major. You're a bio major. Awesome. What's that like? Uh, it's depressing. It's a little bit depressing, but... <laughs> Why do you say that? It's too much work and not enough time, but we'll live through it. Have you ever thought about, you know, learning how to code? Absolutely. What's holding you back? My bio major. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, man, if you ever want to drop out of school and come to train at DevSlopes, we got you covered. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> this first question is, what is the difference between front-end and back-end development? Front-end development would be uh, the actual website a customer sees, and back-end development would be the processes you know, after a transaction that the customer doesn't see. That is a perfect example, and that is the correct answer. You just became $20 richer. Oh, yeah, man. This second question is going to be a little bit tougher. Okay. What ruins a programmer's day? It's a three-letter word. A three-letter word. Huh. A three-letter word that... Can I phone a friend? It's a three-letter word. He picked Dylan. Dylan, what do you think the answer is? It's a bug. It is a bug. No way! That is it! No way! No way! No I got you. All three of you? <laughs> Here you go, man. That is twenty dollars. He just became another twenty dollars richer. Now you have enough money to, you know, go take a girl on a date. You got a girl, man? No, that would be great though. Maybe okay. once they see this video, they're gonna be like, "Look at boys! He's got forty dollars to take me out on a date." He's got forty dollars to take me out on a date. All right, for this last question, let's see if you can get it. The hardest, one of the hardest questions we ask here: How do you exit them? How do you exit them? Control Alt Delete. <laughs> oh, that is incorrect. The correct answer for that is semicolon QW. But, guys, once again, the whole premise of this is anybody can learn how to code and anybody can make money learning how to code. Here at DevSlopes Academy, anyone can make money. If you want to learn how to become a developer, check out DevSlopes Academy. You don't got to be a biochem engineer, man. You don't be a bio major. You can learn how to code. No doubt. Uh, I've been following you, bro. He's been following me, guys. That's me. Wow, what are the oh, odds of that? Slopes. Check out DevSlopes, yeah, guys. Check him out. <laughs> Give us money. By the way, the love of Moy's live. If you're watching this video, he's the guy raving around forty dollars here at UTD. Come find him. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. We got new challenges coming your way. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and help us get to two hundred thousand subscribers. Keep an eye out for Jake the Programmer. We might be coming to your campus next.